Air Arrow's jet has crashed after an incident at a Royal Air Force base today. TWO people are believed to have been on board the Red Arrow's jet aircraft when it came down at RAF Valley on Anglesey in North Wales. Witnesses have claimed that the pilot was forced to eject from the aircraft, which was said to have been returning to RAF Scampton in Lincolnshire. One eyewitness told the Daily Post in North Wales that they were waiting for a train when they saw someone parachute from the plane before it crashed. They said, I was sat at Rosnagra train station and you can see the airfield from there. I was watching the Red Arrow flying because you hardly ever see them. Then it looked like it was about to land. The next thing I saw was the parachute, and then the plane hit the runway and went up in flames. Plumes of black smoke were seen billowing into the sky after the crash at about 1. Thirty p.m. today, in photographs taken by pipe welder Dino James, who works nearby. He said, "I was near the compound, and the plane came around to do a practice landing on the runway." It missed the runway and landed at the left-hand side. Two pilots were ejected about 200 yards from the ground. I pulled up for a moment in my truck watching and watched the plane come over my head. Caterer Ann Wilson, 52, who works at the Anglesey Golf Club, situated at the end of the runway at RAF Valley, witnessed the aftermath of the crash. She said, I did not see the crash. But I heard a very loud noise. We are used to the planes going over, but this was unusual. It was different to what we normally hear around here. I did go and have a look, and there was a big fireball and lots of dark smoke. Quite a few of the members actually saw it. They said the plane came in quite steeply and saw a pilot eject, but that it was very low to the ground when they ejected. She said the air ambulance was at the scene for a very long time. Councillor Richard Dew from the Isle of Anglesey County Council, who lives close to the RAF base, said, I hope everybody will be fine. This sort of thing doesn't happen very often. I know a lot of people who work on the base, I just hope everyone is fine. A Ministry of Defense spokesman said, We are aware of an incident today at RAF Valley involving a Hawk aircraft. We are investigating the incident, and it would be inappropriate to comment further at this stage. North Wales police confirmed they were in attendance and were called to the scene at around 1. pm. A Welsh Ambulance Service spokesman said, We were called shortly before 1.30 pm this afternoon to reports an aircraft had crashed at RAF Valley in Holyhead. We sent an emergency ambulance and a Wales Air Ambulance to the scene. The world-famous aerobatic team performs stunts and daredevil displays and flies the distinctive Hawk fast jets.
Based at RAF Stampton in Lincolnshire, all Red Arrows pilots have flown operationally in frontline aircraft before joining the display team. The Duke of Cambridge served as a search and rescue helicopter pilot at the base, where about 1,500 service personnel, civil servants and contractors work. Last month, ejector seat manufacturer Martin Baker Aircraft Company was fined £1.1 million after a breach of health and safety law led to the death of a Red Arrows pilot. Flight Lieutenant Sean Cunningham was killed after being ejected from his Hawk T-1 while carrying out pre-flight checks on the ground at Stampton in November 2011. The parachute on the Mark 10B ejector seat did not deploy, and the 35-year-old airman from South African Airmen fell 200 feet before he later died in hospital. In August 2011, Red Arrows pilot flight lieutenant John Egan crashed his Hawk T-1 jet into the river store near the Dorset village of Throop and died. His wife Emma was in the crowd watching the display as he fur to maneuver his plane away from the village, crashing into a field before plunging into the river 